Okay guys, so this is where the stove's going to go. We put it in here and we measured that hole. We're going to set the tent down and we're going to cut that out and put our stove jack in. Okay, so we're going to cut this circle out and then we'll set the tent down. It's a little nerve-wracking. It's kind of odd cutting a hole in your tent. So now we have a hole in our tent. I'm glad this isn't a new tent or I'd feel really bad. I feel bad, but I don't feel really bad because it's not new. Alright. So now Alright, so we're going to set this down and go to the outside and uh, we'll put our stove jack in. Okay, so we've laid this out on here and we marked it. Now we've got to mark four and a half inches in all the way around. Uh, three and a half, four and a half. So that we can cut this. So now we need to cut that out. Okay, so we're going to finish cutting this out. 
then we'll come back and show you how to glue it in. Hey guys, so we got our hole cut. I done it on an angle because I didn't want to have to cut that seam. So now what we're going to do, the instructions for the stove jack, say to use this tear mender glue. So that'll probably shake it up, huh? Cover this whole thing with it. says to do the same on this. It's kind of messy. Hopefully it holds because now we have a hole in our tent. And we're just going off what they said to do, so. Pretty quick drying. So. Well, gonna make a mess. When we're done, I'm gonna get this back up. We could probably go around those edges with some of that. Just make sure it's sealed good. But yeah, we're just gonna let that dry and then we'll be back with you. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got the stove jack glued in. You can take a look at it here. Uh, made a little bit of a mess. The dog decided to come over and jump across the tent while we were doing this So kind of made a mess of everything, but it's in there. I think it's gonna work It seems to be sticking and everything. I've never done this before. I was just doing it the way that the Manufacturer of the stove jack showed to do it. I bought this stove jack on Amazon. I'll put a link to it in the description um, Also the wood stove over here. I'll put a link to that but Hopefully we can get this set back up and get the wood stove set up and and uh, see if it's gonna work okay so we got it set back up this is the inside of it um, I had to put it on an angle like that because I wanted to miss this seam and this seam so it was really the only way to put it and miss those seams but that adhesive uh, seems to work pretty good I got a couple of wrinkles in a couple places here and here but I don't think it's gonna matter um, 
it seems like it's sticking really well it's still a little wet but I think that'll dry up and we'll be good to go so this is the outside you see the stupid dog made a mess makes me mad I had to cut this corner off so it wouldn't go up there We'll roll that up and then I'll show you what it looks like opened up. So this is the outside with the flap opened up. Now we just got to get the stove in there, figure out how to run the pipe through there, and we'll be good to go. Okay guys, so we got this thing jerry-rigged together. A little redneck engineering. We're going to see what we can do about lighting it up and see if it works. So we had to put a piece of foil around that. Hopefully it doesn't melt. We're going to see if that'll hold it because it was a little loose. So we jammed it down around the edges and then jammed the pipe in there. But anyway, I'm going to light this thing up. get her going and then we'll check back with you see how it's working all right guys so some final thoughts on this I've had this stove running for about an hour and it's been it'll run you out of here with just a small fire in it it's about 32 degrees outside so I got to get a better pipe for it, figure that out. Stove jack seems to work good. Um, the glue seems to work good. It uh, still has a few little, I think these are spots where the glue was too thick and hasn't dried, but I think it'll dry and then it'll be fine. So yeah, um, next thing's get a better pipe, then we can spend a night in it and go out camping see what we can come up with so yeah this is the setup on the outside we built this temporary tripod just to hold that up I'm gonna have to build a tripod that's more permanent and I'd like the the stovepipe like I say get a taller one inside then it won't be on quite as much of an angle it'll come out further away from the tent so but anyway that's uh where we're at we're gonna get this thing cooled down pull the tent down and we'll get some pipes and we'll be back later to show you what we come up with with that thanks for watching